Welcome to the Girl Scout News for Troop 10825. Today we will take you to the Black Cannon Animal Sanctuary in Crawford, Colorado to meet Debbie Faulkner and her special friends. Debbie created the sanctuary in 2009 because of a lifelong love for animals. She and her husband, David, have been involved in dog and cat rescue for more than 30 years. The Black Cannon Animal Sanctuary is a different kind of shelter where dogs are not kept in kennels but allowed to roam and play. The mission of the animal shelter is to provide a loving, caring, no-kill place for these dogs until they find a forever home. Our Girl Scout correspondents are live at the Black Cannon Animal Sanctuary. We take you to Crawford for this report. What makes your organization so special? Well, I think that communal living environment is one of those things because the dogs all get to know each other and we get to know them. Uh, it's, it's like they're living in a, in a home and they, we feel like they're our animals and we spend a lot of time with them and they get a lot of room to run and they're not stressed. What is communal living? Well, communal living environment in an animal shelter is where animals are kept together in groups. They're not kenneled separately. They're in play groups that they get along with and they basically live together. Can you tell me about washing the dogs? I certainly can. That's a big job. We have about 60 dogs here and we have a grooming tub. I don't know if you noticed that in there, but it has a ramp and we wear an apron and we just recently had to do like 10 of the dogs at a time and it was like an assembly line and some love it, some don't love it, but it's just like you doing it at home times 10. I imagine that there's a lot of towels you have to wash. Oh boy, yes there are. And blankets, because I don't know if you noticed, but we have caranda beds in every kennel. And so we put a blanket down every day and we wash it every day so that it stays clean for them. And then when we do wash the dogs, yes, we have a lot of towels to wash. So our washing machine is going almost 24-7. Wow. Yeah, in fact, we just had to buy a new one recently. Hopefully it lasts longer than the last one. <laughs> What's your adoption rate? The adoption rate is 85%, if that's what you mean. How many of ours get adopted? Yes. Yes, about, we have an 85% adoption rate, which is pretty high. Yeah. Thank goodness, because we have a lot of dogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you board dogs? I, uh, we board all of our alumni. That means the dogs that get adopted from us, we board free. That's one of the perks of adopting from us, the Black Canyon Animal Sanctuary. In fact, in the sum every summer I keep these two for a whole month, and I love seeing them come back. But we also board in case of an emergency for people. Like right now, I have a man that just moved here, and he doesn't have any work, and he's got a little boy, and he's having to stay in a motel, and he doesn't have a place for his dog for a week. And so I have her inside. So I try to help people out by boarding, but we never charge. What is the Silver Whiskers program? The Silver Whiskers program is where we match senior people with senior pets. And we pay for everything. They don't pay us for the dog. Typically they're on low income. And so we buy them their food. We take the dog to the vet. We pay for grooming. And then if that person, usually they're elderly, and if they get sick and have to go to the hospital or they can no longer care for the pet, then we take it back and care for them. It's a great program. How much food do you go through? Uh, we go through a thousand fifty-five pounds a month. That's a lot of dog food. We spend about a thousand a month on dog food. They eat a lot. What is the max amount of dogs that you can hold? The most that we can hold here is about sixty, because we have a communal living environment. So we can group, you know, our kennels are big enough to group five, six dogs together in different places. We have lots of different places. So 60 is the max. That's about all I would ever want to have here. Okay. Uh, how many play pens do you have? We have seven play yards, if that's what you mean. Uh, one is three acres, and it's actually an agility field. So we have all the agility equipment, if you know what that is. And in the summer, we have an agility camp for the public and their dogs as well. Um, but there's seven different ones. We have uh, two that are for our senior dogs because we have quite a few older dogs. And the, we have one for our really young, you know, active dogs that are like one and two years old. And um, then we have some feral dogs here. Those are dogs that have never been touched, but we take care of them and they have their own play yard. What are ways people can help? Uh, to continue our mission, 
Well, the ways that people can help us is number one, obviously, by donating. Um, we also, you can, if you shop at City Market and have a rewards card, you can go online and put us as your favorite charity and we'll get a percentage of all your, everything that you buy. It's no cost to you. We also are, participate in the Amazon Smile program. We're a, an authorized charity on that as well. So you could sign us up on, on your Amazon Smile account. Mm -hmm. um, we also need volunteers. So you could give me a call and come out and help us volunteer. There's always something to do. You know, help walk dogs, clean, just socialize dogs. Um, and, you know, adopting from us. You know, sending people our way when they want a dog. That would help us more than anything. Thank you for tuning in to Girl Scout News 10825. Please consider supporting this worthy cause. Reporting from Girl Scout News, I'm Isabella.